The newborn intensive care unit at Columbus Children's is where the littlest ones of all can face some of the biggest challenges. When babies are born weeks, sometimes even months too soon, it can lead to overwhelming complications. Infants that can fit in the palm of your hand struggle to survive. The NICU, as it's called, is a hospital within a hospital. It's a place Elizabeth and Travis Rupp didn't see in their baby's future until Tiffany arrived 13 weeks early. So at that point, I'm thinking, wow, I really don't know if this baby's going to be able to survive or not, just because I've never known of anybody to have a premature baby. Mm -hmm. So I had no experience whatsoever with mm -hmm. preemies at all. At 27 weeks, Tiffany's lungs needed help to keep breathing. Well, premature babies can suffer many complications, and because their lungs are so immature, they can be damaged. And we take care of every aspect of that problem, from research to clinical care. Dr. Steve Welty says the very machines that keep little lungs working can sometimes be the same thing that causes damage. The severity that she had it was really what's rare. What she had was a disorder caused by the ventilator called pulmonary interstitial emphysema. So air dissected around parts of her lung where it shouldn't have been and caused that lung to be very big and really not work very well. And as the doctors mentioned to us, her lung was starting to look like Swiss cheese. Just these areas of holes where there was air that was collected but it was not being released. It was pushing the other lung over so it couldn't work very well and she was in pretty desperate straits because of that. Mm -hmm. It also shares a spot with the heart. So now the, the, the lung is getting squished and the heart is getting squished as weeks in the NICU turned into months, Tiffany's parents faced a crossroads. Collapse her left lung to give it time to recover, or there was another choice. And they told us that if that did not work, another option would be to have, you know, the lung removed. And I asked the question, well, how many, you know, babies has this ever happened to? And they said two, and only one of the babies survived. For three weeks, Tiffany functioned with a collapsed lung. Then came the test. I just kept thinking, if she can look at me and you know react, you know how how could that, how could this not work? You know, and I was I was dumbfounded, and I think they knew that that I was so not going there in my head that you know she was just going to be fine eventually. They had the doctors up there, um, ultrasound doctor was there to to monitor the lung. When they pulled the tube out into the main stem to inflate the left lung. And then uh, once it was inflated enough, and from that point on, she's just been doing phenomenal. After four months in the NICU, Tiffany returns to Children's just for checkups. Her parents credit the staff with caring for their whole family. Leaving the NICU unit the day we left um, her discharge day was just about as hard as walking in the door because it's kind of like, okay, yay, we get to take her home and she's healthy enough, which, don't get me wrong, was fabulous. But leaving, you know, your second family, it was... It was very overwhelming. As the Rupps enjoy having their little girl with them at last, they have one more thing they want to say to their friends and family at Children's. <laughs> now you're going to get me to cry. Just how much we love her and know she's such a miracle. We just, I don't know any other word for it. Well, she's just, she's a fighter. She's lucky. You know, she has her little moments during her bath time of screaming at me, but <laughs> I guess we, we'll take that. We'll take that because she's with us.